First, just let me say that our thoughts and prayers are with John Asher's family. Um, obviously, everybody here knows him. And great, great guy, great man. Uh, hope he's really missed. 45th anniversary of Paul Rogers. Congratulations, Yay, Paul. Paul. <laughs> Excited about that. That's a heck of a deal. Uh, and now it's game week, so it's a, it's a good time for us. What we did is Friday night we had a mock game, um, which is part scrimmage and then part situations. Uh, and a lot of special teams, you know, you got to get all the special teams works and all the things that could come up in special teams. Um, but I, I like the way it was done. Uh, we did a good job with it. Our players did a good job with it, preparing for it. And then they come in um, Saturday morning and we do a team run uh, and then came back last night and had our, uh, you know, start of the week practice for, for Alabama. Uh, today's their day off. We always do that early in the year, have Monday as their day off. That's when some of our players take labs and have later classes. Uh, and then sometimes later in the year, we, we change it to Sunday as the day off. But it works out better for Monday. So uh, our first you know, real practice again tomorrow uh, for the Alabama game. But we're excited for it. I'm fired up for our team. You know, I think we've uh, had a good camp. We've grown and gotten better. I think we've learned a lot about our players. They've learned a lot about each other. Uh, and we're excited to play a game. You know, we're certainly at that point where we're tired of hitting and tackling and um, going against each other. So it, it's time for a game. And we got a good one, playing the defending national champions. Uh, great tradition, very well coached team uh, with, a, with a lot of really good players. So uh, it's a great challenge for us. We're looking forward to it. We're excited. We need to have a good week of, of practice, good week of preparation, not just practice, but the entire week of preparation, and the meetings and the studying and, and really understanding. seems like we've been working for this game for a, a long, long time. So uh, it's nice to finally get here and, and get the week going. With that, I'll just open up for questions. Coach, um, are there any... Um Starters that uh, that you intend players you intend to start that you maybe came out of the blue that you did not expect at the beginning of practice might have moved into that position. Uh, no, and I think we we uh, hand out the two deep here right after um, the press conference. But um, no, I think we're we're pretty much you know we've had some really good competition, uh, and we still have some competition going on. You know, this is the tentative starting lineup and. Obviously, you still got to practice and work to get better in practice and work to keep your job in practice. But, you know, it's pretty pretty close to where we thought it would be when we started the season. And um, there hasn't been a whole lot of change, luckily. We heard from you uh, when Jalen came back to practice for the first day last week. What else did you see from him for the remainder of the week? And how confident are you that he might be able to contribute? Yeah, I was excited to, to see the shape that he's in. Um, and how he was able to handle the load in practice, the reps, uh, and be able to you know do pretty much anything and everything. Um, he did go through the uh, the scrimmage or the mock game the other night. Did a nice job, caught some nice passes. Um, so that was good to see. And um, you know I think he's in in good condition, ready to go. So uh, I was happy about that. That's a credit to our trainers and. You know the the other things that we have to allow kids to condition the underground treadmill and the you know the the other treadmill that lowers your weight and you know the ability to go ahead and condition while you're not fully healthy and um, because I was I was a little bit surprised how good a condition he was in. Bobby, how have you seen Puma grow during fall camp and and how has he been as a leader in the huddle? Yeah, you know, I think he's he's getting there as, as the leader. And the, the first thing you have to do as a quarterback is do your job really well to be a leader. Um, you have to be able to direct and change the mood at times. Um, and I've seen him see that and do it and, and uh, you know, demand kids to pick it up and get going. Um, so that was that was really good to see. Um, he's, you know, it's his time. He's ready to go. He's been preparing for this for a long time. He just needs to relax, have a good week of practice. He did really well Friday night. I was, I was really excited about how sharp he was and how accurate he was um, and his decision making. So we're going to really focus on, you know, decision making and execution all week long in practice. Bobby, what kind of challenge has it been 
preparing for the possibility of two quarterbacks from, from Alabama and not knowing which, which one you're going to see. Yeah, and one of them only played a half, you know, <laughs> and then cranked the ball deep, you know, really did a great job throwing the football. So, uh, you know, we've been having to prepare for both of them. Uh, they both can run. Uh, and they're both big, 220-pound guys that can run with big hips that are hard to tackle. So the thing we have to do is get in position to make the tackles when they do run um, and do a great job of form tackling and getting extra guys to the, to the ball. But, uh, you know, they're, they're very sound on everything that they do, protection, run game, you know, their <coughs> RPO game that they do. And, um, you know, we've got to be able to recognize splits and formations and tips. Um, and try to have an idea what's coming before the ball snapped. Yeah. As a follow-up, how pleased have you been with your defense's development um, on the Bryan and you know, just the young guys really stepping into those two roles? Yeah, I've liked our camp. I think that, you know, like I said last week, our, our attitude and our toughness and our commitment to effort has really showed up <laughs> in camp. I felt like the other night that our uh, assignments and speed um, we were playing faster because we knew what we were doing. There wasn't a lot of hesitation out there. Um, so I was happy with the, the way we ran to the football and the way we tackled and, and the, uh, you know, the attitude that we're playing with is what you need. Jawan's been in the program for three years now. How has he developed as a passer since he got on campus before he comes in to start his first game? Yeah, you know, that's kind of what he was coming out of high school. We felt like he's getting back to the pocket passer, the guy that can move in there. Um, he does a really good job of, of throwing the ball across the middle. I think that's something that, uh, you know, has really shown up in, in practice and in his ability to, to uh, you know, make those passes where you got to hit the top of the helmet, you know, and I think it helps with his height and his release in doing that. Um, you know, he also does a good job of, of moving and throwing the ball on the run as a really short, quick release and gets his body in the right position. So uh, I think he's his two years here, he's improved and, and worked extremely hard at it. You know, I think it's going to be being able to carry it over from the practice field to the game field so that you continue to have the right set, have your feet in the right position, you know, get your shoulder in the right position and be able to just focus on, on my reads and, you know, let the muscle memory take care of itself. <clears throat> You've gone against Coach Saban before, and he's got new defensive coordinators probably since you were there at, at Arkansas. When you think of his defenses, what are the what are the things that really stand out, and why has he been able to be so successful? Yeah, I mean, they're always really good at, at stopping the run and, and working to stop the run, whether it's, uh, you know, technique and, and fundamentals and being sound or, you know, being pressure pressuring you to, to um, with run pressures to try to stop the run. Uh, and then they got guys that can really rush the passer. So, uh, you know, they, they do a good job. They've always done a good job of adjusting during the game, too. I think that's one of the things that, that uh, we noticed from them before was they're going to come out in the second half and have a couple of new things that we didn't see in the first half, um, particularly on third down. Uh, we, we know how much importance you place on the, the first drive, the scripted first offensive series of the game. What In general, what is your typically your aim for that and does it change at all for this game? No, it doesn't change. I mean, it's, it's another game, start of the season, so uh, we'd like to take the ball and go get a touchdown. That's typically what we, you know, want to do and, and expect to do. You know, you, you try to mix different personnel groups, different formations in there. We've got to do a good job up in the press box, really understanding, you know, what we're seeing and, and what they're doing um, to those different personnel groups and different formations. So. Um, you're not only trying to score, but you're trying to learn and, and you know, bring it to the next series. Um, Coach Klonakis said he made a final decision on his status. Yeah, nothing has, has changed there. and you know, you, you expect him to coach Saturday? No, he's not coaching Saturday. Bobby, well, you uh, talked a lot about getting your players to believe that they can beat Alabama. How's that going? How do you know? <laughs> You not know it'll game day if you succeeded, or how? <laughs> what do you do? Hey, we're working on it every day. You know, I think you do it by by working extremely hard in practice, and you know, understanding that you did that, trusting your teammates did it, and, and uh, you know, going into the game with confidence. And um, one of the things that helps your confidence is you really understand what you're doing, and you study and know the, the know the game plan and know what we're doing, um, and then you're ready to go execute it. So. 
Um, it's not it's not like it's a new thing or anything, right. you know, it's the same thing you try to do for every game and you know, part of your job as a coach is to get your players to believe that you can go out there and, and win the game, get your players to um, believe during the game that, that you're going to win the game. Um, that's a big part of, part of coaching and, you know, we've had a lot of good games where, you know, our players have done that and then you go out and play the way you can play. Um, every now and then you get a game where it shows up that you really didn't believe it and then you make the mistakes and you normally catch a ball and you drop it. You know, you normally hit this curl, you know, 10 out of 11 snaps and all of a sudden the ball's high and sailing off. Um, and I always, I always believe that that's part of whether you believe you went, you're going to win or you don't. Was there any way, though, to know that? I mean, as a coach... Well, you go play the game. Here we go. It's time to do it. <laughs> coach, you're in an interesting situation this week where you, you get to study an opponent by having kind of a documentary follow them around. How much are you watching that? And are you kind of taking it with a grain of salt, or are you, is it part of the actual game plan? I mean, we had guys that looked at it every night and took notes and drawings and, you know, tried to get as much out of it as we possibly can. Coach, other than Jalen Smith, is everybody healthy? Yeah, I think I think we're pretty healthy. So it looks like we should have everybody available and, and good to go. Bobby, you mentioned in the past, during the offseason, you'll study teams of certain games to kind of get a head start on, on game planning for that. I would imagine Alabama was, was a part of that process this offseason. How much do you guys do that, and how often do you guys revisit it throughout the offseason? Yeah, I mean, when we come back uh, from recruiting, you know, we always have three three teams that we're going to spend time on in the off season, getting ready um, for the next season. So, uh, you know, we usually have one week where we totally game plan for this game. Then we come back in spring ball and spend time practicing for it in spring ball, uh, and then you come back in the uh, summertime and you know, spend another week or two weeks on game planning. Uh, and now it started all over again. So it's uh, you know it's one of those things. Um, a lot of times that you, there's not a lot that you change, um, but there are times where you hey we're not executing this very well, so you know you you take it out. So it's really you probably eliminate more than you put in at this point in time because the first game plan you go you put everything you got up on the board and then you start eliminating. How have your guys responded to Little being out, and, and what's that depth kind of sorted out looking like in the backfield? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's part of football is that you understand there are, there will be some injuries, and it's unfortunate. Tobias has, you know, worked so hard, and um, I was excited to see him play, and I know he was excited to do it. He's got a great attitude, um, and he'll come back from it. But, uh, you know, the guys are just working hard to, to get their name called and get carries, and. Um, there's still good competition, you know, they're still working hard at it. And, you know, you got Trey Smith, you got Day Williams, you got Colin Wilson. Um, you know, we got Malik Staples has come in and helped us and done some really good things. And then you got the two freshmen that are still trying to understand what's going on every play. Uh, but boy, can they run and catch and, you know, are exciting. You talked a lot about how you want to get your team, make sure your team believes that they can win on Saturday. With Puma specifically, what will you say to him to make sure he's in the right frame of mind? Yeah, we're just going to go out and practice right now. So, uh, and then obviously there'll be a lot that we talk about. Yeah. But he's just going to practice. Treshawn Smith, do you expect him to play Saturday? Yeah. Everything yeah, Treshawn's done a nice job and, and was you know, <coughs> played Friday night. Did a good job. All right. All right, thank you very much. No players today, players are off.